What's up everyone? As we promised you before, today we are going to take a look at the articles which are going to help you to use market in the best possible manner. If you've seen this video before or you're sure that you know what's article about, just feel free to click on the name of the next article to skip it. So our articles for today are usage, analysis, creating offers, taking risk, checkpoints, doubling chances, additional tips, and be patient. Let's get used to the market. Therefore, I will show you how to set your offers, how to cancel your offers, how to buy, buy things which people are selling, and how to sell things which people are buying. So let's get started. First of all, we will start from setting offers. So let's set an offer, a buy offer for, for example, great mana potion. You just type in great mana potion in search window and click on it to activate it. Then we want, we decided to buy it for example, for 116 GP for each piece. So you type 116 golden coins in this bar over here and scroll this bar to let the market know as many uh, how many I mean how many pieces of those you want to buy let's say we want to buy 40 of mana potions after you uh, set it, the amount and set it up uh, a price click create and our offer our buy offer appears here let's go to our sell offer let's say we want to sell our fire bug so let's type in fire bug and we'll find it in this list of the items over here and after we pick it we activated it and we want to sell it so click this button over here anonymous if you want to stay anonymous type a price which is gonna be 1k for example and click create and our offer appears over here then let's say you want to buy something that people sell let's say it's going to be life ring we can see that we already have eight but we want to buy more so when you are here you see people are selling it so click on this bar over here the top offer in the list is the lowest price so click on that line pick as many as you like to buy over here in this scroll bar I want to buy two so I see that total amount of a gold I have to pay for two is 996 gold I'm okay with that so I press accept and we can see that amount of our life rings rise it up and we can see that there is 10 life rings over here let's say we want to sell something to somebody who buys something right let's say it's going to be this quarter tentacle over here so we type in quarter tentacle we pick it from the list and we see that somebody is trying to buy it for 65 gold per a piece we're okay with that we click on the offer and since we have only one we can scroll our bar as for more so we just click on the offer and click accept to get cash and we see that amount of our gold in a bank on our balance it changed and that's how how it works to to sell something that somebody buys now let's move to my offers where you can cancel the offer you posted before let's say I don't want to buy those 40 mana potions anymore so I just click on the offer I created before and press cancel to check on history of the offers which you had like before in the days you just go offer history and you check through it analyzing market is one of the most important things in marketing that's something that will rise your income and bring you a lot of cash so let's talk about analyzing when I analyze market I split 
my thoughts on categories and when you will listen to this you could just open your mind and go for your own new category or just use mine so let's get started I will start from a category I call wars uh, all the items which belongs to PvP fights belongs to this category so let's say time rain let's check it out I am playing Eternius so time rings over here are as you see 400 100 uh, 1000k that's where you can make your cash and that's where you can buy a couple of uh, rings for like 420 gold each and sell them later for a higher like triple or double price let's go to for example sudden death runes as you can see somebody even managed to buy them for uh, set an offer on buy offer I mean to buy them for a higher price than in a store that means he's not okay to go to the store and buy them so that's where you can use from uh, let's go to like magic wall runes right there you can see that people are trying to buy it for quite fair enough price but nobody's selling them so that's where where is your spot that's where you can already spot your offer as you see people which spotted their, their offer here they already gained a lot of cash 141 200 gold per piece I mean that's that's a good offer to gain cash from and that's that's the category called wars then next category is for example questing uh, when let's say people are going to go inquisition and they go there like three teams in one week then they're gonna bring lots of rewards and they will try to sell them all together right they're not gonna wait like it that's how it usually happens people come back to the depot and trying to sell the uh, the item to get cash so that's where the price will drop as we see there were no quests for the last couple of days so the prices are pretty high you can't use from this category nowadays but if there were teams doing this quest price would be like around 800k and you could be able to use from it but you can still try you know then next category will be botters what botters do they go to they go and occupy territories so uh, you get lots of uh, they get lots of item f items from that those territories and they either sell them to the NPC uh, if they sell them to NPC you lost but if they bring those items to the depot and they put it into the depot and they know there is market and they want to sell it on the market that's where you can win let's say like let's check a Hydra spot so that's what Hydra drops Hydra head cost 600 GP as you can see uh, you can already use from this if you're playing Eternia uh, you can already gain some cash over here that's our questing uh, I mean botters category and I will show you one more category which, which is rare items rare items uh, is something that people are not used to think about usually right that's where you can you can you can find your cash and uh, let's say broken key ring see as we can see uh, people set their offers here and they're trying to buy it for 3k each how do we know that they get them for 3k each let's see as as we can see there is statistics for sales and those transactions shows us that people actually sold those key rings for three for four for six maximum 7.5k each that means all the sales of that key ring were really nice income for somebody who bought them right so that's the idea that's where you can use from by the way if you're not sure about the prices you can always go check this website uh, I'm going to go tibia website to show you that it is official website from tibia this is their font site so you don't think I'm trying to show you something weird 
let's go to font sites view all as you can see it's tibia.com community and we go to the website called tibia.vikia.com click on that website and if you're confused with any price or any creature or information I mean on any creature you can just go here and pick uh, I mean and search for a prizes for NPC prizes as you can see there's popular articles and their article called items and here you can find all the prizes on the items so yeah if that helps just use from it tibia.vikia.com when creating offers you should remember about a couple of things which first one is you should always depend on your balancing the second one is there are two kinds of offers first one is going to be fake offers the second one fair offers let's talk about first one let's take a look at this theme key as you can see somebody is trying to sell it for 3kk somebody is trying to buy it for 1.9 1 1.85 uh, whoa what is this this is 5k this is not kk right so this is what I call fake offer clear somebody can meet make really good cash out of this offer if it works out I think it's not needed to explain why somebody would sell the tin key to this person just by accident you know or just because somebody thinks it's this person's birthday I don't know but something like this might happen that's what I call fake offers that's how you can use from it uh, the second thing is uh, fair offers let's talk about those categories we were talking before so let's say we're going for borders categories and somebody is botting at for example ancient scarabs cave and then you go to the category of items which ancient scarabs drops and we find here those amulets this amulet as we know uh, costs 200 GP to NPC so you can buy it for uh, 102 to overbid this guy and you can buy lots of those and then resell it to NPC and make income that's the other type of offers and you should always remember when making your offers uh, for something uh, let's say you have something like soft boots right and you creating the offer for soft bits if you are going to forget to type in like you're selling it for 480k for example right if you will type it like this and forget to type one more zero and uh, click on create it will automatically sell this uh, your pair of soft boots for to this guy so be really careful when you do this because this offer is still okay but it could be something like something like lower like 370 uh, and you could be you can lose a lot of cash out of this so when you're creating offers always remember always keep this thing in your mind let's take a look at two situations uh, and I will explain you where you should you most likely should take your risk and where you shouldn't uh, this situation over here is uh, looks like this lots of people are trying to buy a lead dragon helmet and only two are selling so you can risk and go like buy it for 1.1 kk and somebody will definitely sell it to you out of those two because that's uh, about their price not about this price and uh, that probably will fit them uh, so you can try to buy it for that price and try to resell it for uh, something like this and gain 100 150k out of that right and this is like a risk you can take but uh, there's a risky moment over here if teams are going to go for quest and they will bring lots of those helmets and will try to sell it the price will drop as as we can see it here like only only one person is trying to buy it and lots of people are trying to sell it that means they're 
the world is overloaded with those real scale ropes so kind of like you don't have to risk here you don't have to take your risk here and trying to buy it for 850k i would being this guy he really needs the item to use it for himself this guy is trying to buy uh, the armor for the usage but you could uh, try to to buy it for like 650k that's where you kind of could make your make your cash but that's already not a risk to buy it for 650k because prices on those armors are uh, from 700 to 1.2 kk so that's where you're not risking only risk is when you buying uh, something that is about the price uh, on, the, on the sale offers you know that's what you have to take into account when you trying to buy something and resell it later you should always remember to make checkpoints let's say you created your offers based on the strategy we built before and for some reason they don't work so you have always to make checkpoints and if it's a common item you should wait about like three days if the offer doesn't work you should cancel it and update it to some new item if it's a rare item you should wait around a week and if it doesn't work you should start worrying and cancel it and go for something else if it's a really rare item you can wait for it up to two weeks if it's a fake offer you can wait wait forever because those offers I mean they don't cost you much just keep that in mind and stay updated let's talk about doubling your chances let's say you're playing some specific world and this is your main character and you want to make cash for some specific needs for me I'm making cash for premium scrolls because I'm not buying premium scrolls on uh, I mean for cash for real cash for me game is a game so cash should come from game and to play game you should pay in game so that for I have my characters on other worlds for example on Pandoria this character I don't play this character too much um, so I use it just to train it this character uh, as you can see got distance fighting 109 with paladin armor but it's not about it how to double your chances uh, I bought uh, a couple minor crystalline tokens already for 3.5k each and I'm trying to sell, resell them and I'm trying to gain some cash some fair fair cash you know and there's another situation I'm trying to buy blood goblets for for 500 gold each and it, it doesn't work yet but I, I set it this offer just today uh, so this is my premium scroll character number one which I make cash on and let's take a look on my other character this is my other character on Inferna uh, which is really good cash maker since I'm using this war strategy and some other strategies here uh, some bot strategy as well as you can see uh, I'm buying some kind of legs grasshopper legs which I'm buying for uh, 10k somebody overbid me on one GP but he's gonna go off the market soon he's just gonna buy one pair and go off and my offers uh, my offer is still going to be active uh, I'm trying to buy a lot of things some for fake offers some for fair offers so as you can see all of my bars here are filled up with offers this is my resale character and if you if I would cancel all the offers I had uh, I have around like 1.5 kk on Inferna on this little body which is level 37 uh, I haven't been buying any premium scrolls for uh, real cash nothing like that I started from really really beginning like 
started from I will tell you not gonna lie I started from reselling brown mushrooms I collected collected a couple of vials uh, sold them to NPC went to NPC bought some uh, brown mushrooms and brought them to the uh, bay, I mean to the market at that time uh, market has been just implemented and not many people knew about it and I could have have sold those even for 20 GP each and that was a really good start so that's basically the idea how it works for the beginners you just start for something really small for on Inferno for example it was really easy because I uh, every time I was buying and reselling those brown mushrooms then I started with sudden death runes and as you know Inferna is PvP, hardcore PvP so people were buying those runes like every day and I had really fast income and that's how it works just double your chances by making couple of characters you can always world transfer you can always uh, get premium scroll on the other world but it's the same account and you will always be able to to have a lot of cash and to manipulate uh, with it because those characters I mean Inferno character Pandora character I don't use them you know uh, so I don't use cash on them I just I just um, always make cash on them so I always have for premium scrolls for for example you can make cash for your own need for some piece of a rare equipment or something like that I gave you the idea you can use it the way you want Keep in your mind that people are still using local chat and advertising channel to sell their items. Uh, we are all lazy and we don't want to do a lot of job. We just want a lot of cash, right? So therefore you want the NPC to be nearby which buys all the items which you buy for reselling. If somebody always overbids your offer. Uh, there's two ways of going out of this situation just pull the bar to the maximum by going 99 golden coins per each scarab coin as the price to NPC will be a hundred and if that is not uh, it still doesn't work and somebody put it a hundred per each and still overbids you then just leave this field because otherwise it's gonna cost you a big fee to go GP after a GP and you're just gonna waste more than you will make. My last tip to you will be stay updated and be patient because marketing will bring you a lot of cash and you will be able to satisfy all of your needs. So if you like this video, subscribe, put a like and I will show you my next one soon time.